Naloxone, known by its brand name Narcan, is used to temporarily reverse the effects of an opioid overdose, and it may soon be available to buy over the counter across the country. The Alabama Medical Association and its members are pushing the FDA to increase access to the sorely needed life-saving drug. News 19's Archie Snowden has more on the efforts from the AMA to save more lives from an overdose. Okay, thank you, Emily and Greg. The Alabama Medical Association sees the number of lives lost to drug overdose climb each day. Now, Preston Lamb of Gunnersville says he lost his friend to an overdose who suffered while waiting for an ambulance to arrive. I wish I'd been ha was able to have uh, Narcan because uh, I was trying to help a friend. Preston Lamb says he watched his friend lose his life and the only thing that could save him that day was if he had a Narcan to administer to him. He died in my arms uh, and I keep his memory on me, on my person at all times as a legacy. The hard experience by Preston is the main reason why health experts in the state of Alabama are making a strong push to make Narcan available over the counter. Naloxone, also referred by the brand name Narcan, is used to reverse opioid overdoses, but is currently only available behind the counter through authorized professionals. Just obtaining it from the local pharmacy, that's not available right now because the federal um, designation still has it where it requires a prescription. And that's what we're trying to get changed. Dr. Julia Booth of the Alabama Medical Association noted the recent climb in opioid related overdoses and the sharp rise in deaths associated with fentanyl has led the efforts to reverse overdose fatalities. Just last week, an FDA panel unanimously voted to recommend the administration approve over the counter selling of naloxone in other states which would widen the platform for additional retailers to sell the life-saving drug. Because our first responders are able to have that in the state of Alabama. So, you know, your um, not just your medical first responders, but like your police, your firefighters, all of them, they're able to have Narcan on their trucks and can use it. Um, but there's been some like individual little acts and things allowed for that. The Alabama Medical Association says that this is an important first step in saving lives of people who can overdose and have a chance for to be in recovery. The FDA vote is expected on March 29th.